Welcome back to Indiana Diecast Racing. This is the Final Fantasy Fracas, and today we've got part two of the Truck Truck Duck Off. An event where we took, I think, eight trucks, and we are eliminating four of them, and the final four will move on to fight in a head-to-head... Head-to-head? Well, they'll, they'll fight in a group of four to see who's going to take over Ace Ventura's spot. I guess it wasn't eight. It was like, what, seven? But in any case, we've got Bison Bob and uh, Marcus. And it looks like Marcus steals the, the lead from Bison Bob. They enter the Savage Square. And Marcus is looking good this time. He takes the early advantage. They swap lanes. And Bob gets a good start. Bob leads into turn two. Marcus unable to pass him, but Marcus Marcus bouncing off the walls. Bison Bob still leads. Marcus not closing. They come to the final straight. We've lost Marcus, and Bison Bob is going to steal the advantage away from Marcus. Marcus now on the cusp of a loss. Looks like Bob is going to pass Marcus in turn. No! Marcus holds on to the lead. Marcus now leads. Marcus wants that win. Bob is nowhere to be seen. And it's going to go back and forth. Oh, there's Bob. Bob again on the inside. Marcus is wrecked. And Bison Bob is going to easily take this left. Well, somewhat easily take that left victory to regain the advantage. Marcus now on that top lane. He gets out front. It seems like whoever starts on the inside lane has got a huge advantage over the other driver, at least in this matchup. Because um, that whoever started there has won every lap so far. So Marcus with the advantage. And he rolls in turn two. This one's going to be Bison Bob's to take. All he's got to do is make it to the finish line. He rounds the final turn. And there it is. So we're going to go to this um, slightly different format. Um, it's kind of like a chase head-to-head -head elimination thing. Um, depending on the outcome of this lap, um, they're going to swap who starts in front. So Marcus unable to catch Bob. So now they swap. And if Bob can pass Marcus on this lap and win this lap, Bob will win the matchup. Oh, and Marcus rolls himself off the track. That may be it. Bison Bob's only got a coast to the finish line. And it, this will be a, a fairly big upset in a match where Marcus was surely the faster vehicle. But Bison Bob uh, goes up to 4-1. and one. Marcus drops to 2-1. and one. But both are still over 500. Now we've got Marcus versus Mr. Dark of Dubious Diecast. And uh, Mr. Dark has had a pretty strong truck so far. And Marcus, Marcus challenging. Oh, and Marcus rolls. Mr. Dark is gonna take an easy early advantage. And now Mr. Dark is on that inside lane. That may spell disaster for Marcus. Yep, Marcus is on his side. All Mr. Dark has to do is reached the finish line and he'll get a W following two very easy laps against a pretty fast competitor. Mr. Dark goes up 5-0. and oh. That will almost surely put him into the final four. All right, now it looks like we've got Raptor Rick and Marcus. Raptor Rick getting a quick initial lead and he holds it out of two and Marcus has rolled on his side again that uh, massive and heavy vehicle just struggling in in the lane 
section of turn two, Raptor Rick gets the early advantage. This time, Marcus on the inside. He's got a decent lead, and he holds it through two. He's through Echo Base, into the Savage Square, and Marcus is gonna spin slide his way to a lap victory. Marcus is gonna have to figure out some way of winning from that outside starting lane. Otherwise, he's, he's gonna, oh yeah, he's gonna be out of it just like that. The ball is in Raptor Rick's court and he steals back the advantage. Marcus on the inside. I think we all pretty much can tell what's gonna happen here. Marcus with no troubles in turn two in that lane. And he makes it through the Savage Square. And we're going, we've got another very close back and forth head to head matchup. All right, Marcus with the advantage. Raptor Rick and, oh, Marcus makes it through turn two. He's got a chance now. And Raptor Rick has wrecked. Oh, no, no, Marcus has wrecked. Raptor Rick recovers and Raptor Rick avoids taking the loss somehow in a lap that Marcus probably should have won. Well, Rick's now got the advantage, but he's not in any kind of position to challenge Marcus. I think this is gonna be Marcus's matchup to lose. Yep, sure enough, Marcus takes that lap. All right, we go to the, uh, uh, the chase, sudden death, elimination uh, tiebreaker thingy. And Marcus is not going to be able to pass him as he wrecks himself. So Raptor Rick is going to be in a position to steal if he can make the pass on this lap. And ooh, Marcus survives. Oh, and he wrecks Raptor Rick. Oh, that was brutal. Marcus telling everyone that he's not done. Now they're gonna go on the other lane and this can, this will probably only work to Marcus's advantage because he seems to do better in this lane. Sure enough, he stays out front. Oh, Raptor Rick is wrecked. It's a lot of alliteration. Oh, Marcus Rex, but he rolls across the line on his roof. That'll count. Um, so if Raptor Rick can't keep Marcus from passing here, it's gonna be all over. It's pretty, oh, Raptor Rick is wrecked. Marcus in that big vehicle pushes him out of the way and Marcus will rack up the W. Raptor Rick at one and four, he's probably not gonna be moving on to the, well, I guess there's an outside chance he could be, oh, wait, what's going on here? Uh, something's interrupting the signal. Oh, um, there's an incoming transmission. I can tell because it said incoming transmission. Roman Gray from Arlo Racing has just arrived in his Cybertruck weighing 84 grams called 96er. Um, he's apparently gonna be joining the competition. Um, oh, and he brought a teammate, No Drama Nancy, in White Walls, a 56 gram, I think that's a Big Air Bel Air, um, also from Arlo Racing. Um, this is a surprise, no one saw this coming. Uh, and it looks like Roman Gray's gonna get on track first against uh, Bill. And wow. Roman Gray is fast. I think this matchup's gonna be done in two laps. Sorry, Bill. But uh, I don't think Bill had much hope for making the final four. He definitely does not now. So they swap lanes. Roman Gray's gonna take off again. And not surprisingly, Arlo has made another very fast vehicle. 
And if he can avoid the rollover but oh, wow. Um, well, Bill zips by, and we're gonna go more than two laps here. All right, Bill's got a chance, but only if Roman drives so fast that he rolls himself. I would be surprised if it happened again here. Okay. And Roman regains the advantage. And now he swaps to the inside lane, and that's where he had his trouble last time. But unlike Marcus, it wasn't until he reached the Savage Square, so we'll see. Okay. Roman well ahead, and he is just lightning fast down the track. Roman Gray is going to lock this one up now. Baja Bill drops to 1 and 5. Roman Gray puts his first win on the board. All right, Roman is now facing Raptor Rick. I have to expect more of the same because I don't know that Raptor Rick was much better than uh, Baja Bill. And sure enough, Roman Gray takes the first lap. Those orange wheels are guaranteed to give you a 10% extra speed and it's definitely helping Roman. You wouldn't think a Cybertruck would be all that aerodynamic with those angles, but um, Roman Gray seems to be. He's He remains undefeated after two matchups, now 2-0. Raptor Rick drops to 1-5, probably not going to make the, the final four. All right, Gaster Gal is going to give it a go. <laughs> There's that alliteration again. Uh, Roman Gray flies ahead on the back straight. I don't know that Gaster Gal is going to be able to give Roman any competition here either. All right, they swap lanes. Well ahead, coming out of turn two through Echo Base. There's Gaster Gal. And Roman Gray is going to put this one away in two quick laps. Up three to nothing. I'm quickly starting to wonder if any of these other drivers can stop Roman Gray. And if Marcus can keep all four wheels on the track, he might have a chance. He's ahead for a moment. Roman Gray makes the pass. But Marcus is at least hanging with him in the same picture. Oh! Through the Savage Square, Marcus right on his bumper, but unable to make anything happen. They swap lanes. Roman Gray way ahead. This almost isn't even fair. So, Roman Gray, four for four, and Marcus drops to three and three. Marcus in danger of not making the final four, though we have yet to see how Nancy runs. All right, Bison Bob, gonna give it a go. Bison probably gonna make it in the final four, so we may see these two guys face off again. But uh, in a head-to-head -head matchup, it's all Roman Gray. I don't. Bob slides in on his side, but second is only the first loser in these head-to-head -head matchups. I feel like I'm a I'm a, bro a broken record, but um, Roman Gray again with the lead. Oh, he spins around and slows. But Bill is. Sorry, Bob was so far behind, it was no contest. Roman Gray now 5-0. Roman Gray probably making the final four, and Bob drops to 4-2, and two, but still has a pretty strong chance. All right, so now it's Arlo and Mr. Dark. 
Sorry, Arlo and Dubious Diecast. It's Dark and Roman. Roman claims the early lead. Mr. Dark is hanging with him. And no mistakes from Roman Gray on the, on the opening lap. They swap lanes. And Roman Gray quickly out front again. Mr. Dark's going to have to hope for a miracle here or make something. Oh, I think we've lost Mr. Dark. Yep. Uh, nope. No idea where he is. Roman Gray takes it in two. He is just blowing away the field with only one matchup left. And that's going to be his teammate, Nancy. And there she is. First time on track today. It looks like Roman is definitely faster. Oh yeah. I think uh, Roman Gray may go undefeated versus the field here. And he will certainly have that number one seed spot in the final four. They swap lanes and Nancy's gonna make something happen here. Or she's going to open the day with a, a loss. And I think that's what it's going to be. I'm not sure she's actually all that slow. It's just that Roman Gray is stupid fast. So Roman goes 7-0, and locks up his spot in the final four. So does Mr. Dark at 5-1. and And we've still got a number of matchups to run here with Nancy to see, uh, well... Who will take spots three and four. Nancy now goes up against Buffalo Bill. Or Baja Bill. Buffalo Bill. Wow. It's Buffalo Bob and Baja Bill. Ooh, she rides the wall and rolls. That's not going to help her chances. And Bill, who I think is already eliminated, takes the first lap. So let's see if Nancy can... Reclaim some honor here. But Bill makes the pass in turn two. She's fighting. But Bill breaks free. Nancy starts to fall back. And I think Baja Bill is going to hand her another loss. In what was pretty much a meaningless matchup for him. Baja Bill goes up two and five. That'll be his final record on the day. Nancy... Uh, two matchups and still looking for her first win. All right, she's up against Raptor Rick this time. I can see this matchup going either way. Rick at a two with the lead. Oh, I think Nancy is wrecked in Echo Base. That's not a good sign. And she's in danger of going down 0-3. She does have a pretty sweet paint job, though. I'll give her that. And those uh, white, clear wheels are some of my favorites. Raptor Rick again with the lead. Oh, Raptor Rick wrecks. And Nancy breaks free. She will take... I think that was her first lap victory. So Nancy now with the advantage and a chance to steal a win from Raptor Rick. But again, she's going to have to hope for a wreck or make something crazy happen. But she's fallen further and further behind. And oh, Rick wrecks off the track, fails to cross the finish line. And Nancy steals a win. Thanks to two DNFs on the part of Raptor Rick, who drops to one and six, he will also be out for sure. All right, two Big Air Bel Airs. No Drama Nancy and Gasser Gal. Gal with the initial lead and she holds it through Echo Base. Gal is pulling away. She rounds the final turn. And guess or gal will get the early advantage. They swap lanes, and I think this right here could tell us if No Drama Nancy is going to have any chance at making the final four. 
And Gasser Gal gets out front again. I think that's going to answer the question. Gasser Gal takes the win. She goes up to two and five. But that will not be enough to get Gasser Gal into the final four. So I think we're going to see Marcus face Nancy now. And if Marcus is going to catch Bison Bob, uh, he's going to have to come away with a W out of this matchup. And so far, so good. He's got the lead and he's pulling away. Nancy not even in the picture. And Marcus has wrecked. Oh, and Nancy gives him a love tap for good measure. She will take the first lap. Reminiscent of a former Arlo driver from a few tournaments ago in a very similar vehicle. Marcus has wrecked himself, and I think No Drama Nancy is going to come away with a huge upset and will play spoiler for Marcus, who drops to three and four. Oh, well, actually, Marcus may still make the final four. It all depends on how Nancy does against the three strongest trucks in the duck off. So now she faces Bison Bob. She's got her work cut out for her, but she's going to have to get another win here somewhere. Bob looking good. No. <laughs> Just as I say that, he wrecks. No, he recovers! Nancy helps her competition recover, and Bison Bob gets the early advantage. Another instance where Nancy could have stolen the win. Bob's gonna make the pass in turn two. Oh, but Nancy's challenging. She's around the outside in Echo Base with a great pass. And Nancy, uncontested, spins around and regains the advantage. I don't think she can match Bob in head-to-head in -head speed, but she's definitely got the nimbleness that, that's needed on this track. And no mistakes from Bob this time. Well, it, oh, very nice door slide from Nancy, but uh, gives up the advantage to Bob. Bob now seconds away from earning another W. And he, he gains the lead. So it's looking like we're heading that direction. But Nancy's all over his bumper, making him get loose. She's trying everything she can. And Bob takes the win. He'll go up five and two. I think that'll pretty much lock his spot in um, into the final four. And things starting to not look good for Nancy, who drops to two and four. She's got to beat Mr. Dark just to tie Marcus. So far, things not looking good. Mr. Dark, probably the second fastest driver in the duck off. He's going to go well. He's going to coast, but Nancy was gaining, but too little too late. And Mr. Dark is going to come out of turn two with the lead again. And this may be it for Nancy. Mr. Dark rounds the final turn. She's charging. And, oh, she spins around on the final straight. And that'll be it. She drops to two and five. Mr. Dark goes up six and one. And I think that might be it, folks. That's it. We've got our final four. Marcus, Bison Bob, Mr. Dark, and Roman Gray. We'll see them in the next video um, where one of those drivers will advance to join the actual tournament itself. Well, this has been Jim D for Indiana Diecast Racing. Be sure to check in next time for more slightly above mediocre diecast racing and the continuing action of the Final Fantasy Fracas.